The Pacific Classic Stakes is next. This is a 10 furlong Group 1. It looks like it's on the dirt to me. Alpha Squad 4, Joshua Sutherland. Builder Bridge, Derek Hinton. Carnelian Great, David Robertson. Celestial Path and Galo Chip for John Morgan. Both unbeaten, so he's going to break his own unbeaten record with one of them, unless they dead heat. Hook'em for Dan Hughes. Johnny Guitar, Leon Van Rensburg. Monsoon Sunrise, Paul Rhodes. Stranger Tides, Patrick Hogan. One-Eyed Man, Derek Hinton. Anaheim Gilles, Vinny Gerard. Duke Del Rama, Darren Thompson. Little Black Bear, Paul Rhodes. And Milan's Richard for Dan Hughes. 14 of them in this then and away they go on the dirt and Galo Chop pulling for its head stable by mate Celestial Path going up on the outside so it's potentially a John Morgan 1-2 but it looks like Paul Rhodes is going to take it up with Little Black Bear although well, that one has got to the front and has now immediately taken a pull and now it's Monsoon Sunrise on the outside which is another Paul Rhodes in a different set of silks so it's a little bit of after you, Claude, at the moment, but they're um, inside the final mile now. And Little Black Bear's finally decided to take it up and go on in the lead from Galo Chop on the inside of Monsoon Sunrise. Then Celestial Path hook them wide on the track with Stranger Tides. These two are going to lose a little bit of ground on the home turn, but Little Black Bear has suddenly found himself three clear. Of hook them up the centre of the track, Galo Chop, Monsoon Sunrise, and One Eyed Man, Stranger Tides Wide, looking towards the back. Anaheim Gilles, the grey was the back marker, just gone past the pink jacketed Builder Bridge, but past the five furlong pole. Little Black Bear is in the lead by the best part of three lengths. To hook them in second, Galo Chop in third, One Eyed Man four, then Monsoon Square, also trying to get into it now is Johnny Guitar going up the inside. Anaheim Gilles going to look for. A bit of a dream spit up the inside, might get a bit of a barging match going in there. But it's Little Black Bear from Alpha Squad who suddenly come through. Little Black Bear then from Alpha Squad. Hook on one-eyed man. Carney the Great is also now trying to get into it. But Little Black Bear is continuing to lead with two and a half furlongs to go. Little Black Bear still two and a half clear from Alpha Squad in second. Hook on is in third. Then Carney the Great. And I'm Gilles has now got racing room and it's taken up a lot of energy to get there. And Little Black Bear is still clear. Little Black Bear in the lead beginning to slow then now as they come down towards the final furlong. And Little Black Bear's got nothing left. Hook on swoops on the outside to take it off. It's Hookham who's gone into the lead. Here comes Anaheim Gilles. Carly the great Galo Chop trying to come through as well. It's wide open. This one Galo Chop and Anaheim Gilles are going to have a barging match as they come towards the line. Anaheim Gilles and it's close. Anaheim Gilles and Galo Chop. Again difficult to split. And wouldn't like to have to call this. Oh, he's very close. Surprised there's not a steward's inquiry as well. It did get a bit messy on the turn. Galo Chop, it's a dead heat. I thought it looked like a dead heat. So Galo Chop for John Morgan retains his unbeaten record just. <laughs> Anaheim Gilles for Vinnie Gerard. Those two share the spoils. Carnegie and great for David Robertson was third. Alpha Squad for Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Hookham for Dan Hughes was fifth.